Hi, welcome to BDSM Talk 13. I'm going to answer a question that was posed by someone who wishes to remain anonymous. Um, they basically asked the level of control that I like to give up. In my relationships, I personally like to give up all control. Um, it's essentially called the 24-7 total power exchange dynamic. There is a big debate on whether 24-7 actually exists or not which I will probably go into at a later date. Um, right now, I don't want to get into a debate. So, that is the type of control that I like in my life. Is it right for everyone? No. Do you really need to have that in your dynamic? No, but if you like it, it can be really great. So, always keep in mind that what I say is really right for me, and you can adapt it to fit you. I don't say 24-7 meaning that he wields a strong hand over me all day and I'm kept low when I... No. But in all of my day, I'm constantly thinking about him in the back of my mind. And I'm constantly thinking of ways to serve him and please him and make him happy. So in that regard, I am serving him 24-7 a day. It's not necessarily with a collar locked around my neck and chained to the bed. Though I would thoroughly enjoy that, but you know. <laughs> I hope that explains the control that I like. Um, there was also the question whether I enjoy dictated appearance, which is basically forced clothing. Um, yes, I do. I get a little nervous with it sometimes because I'm not a very outgoing person and I don't wear a lot of tiny clothes <laughs> in public. <laughs> I'm sure most people probably don't think of me as shy. I get really shy. But, um, so to an extent I love dictated appearance. Like if I know we're going to a fetish club and I have to wear something skimpier, no problem. If we're going to the movies, I prefer dictation like you aren't allowed to wear undies or you aren't allowed to wear pants, it has to be a skirt, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a booty skirt, because I'm not a booty skirt kind of gal. Something like that, or you have to wear heels, or you have to wear this type of makeup, or something like that. I like that style, not a, you must look like a whore to go to the movies with me. Not my cup of tea. Um, so I hope that kind of explains a little bit on my dictated appearance kind of thing. Which, dictated appearance can be anything. Um, like, if someone requesting you to wear a specific top that you like is a bit of, of, that they like, is a bit dictated. Only, you can't say no in real dictated. Um, it's just, you are told you are wearing this. And that's that. Um, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. The one experience I've had that I really don't like it is um, a burqa, which is one of the East Indian dresses that women wear where it's all black and you just see this much. And there's no arms, so you're basically like a walking black jujube, I guess, for lack of a better word. And all you can see is this much. Um, I had a really hard time putting it on, and the idea of wearing it out, I struggled very hard against. I regret it, because I'm sure it would have been a very interesting experience, because you can be bound completely underneath, and no one would know, because you can't see anything, it's past my ankles. Um, so that was one of the few times I struggled with dictated dress. Um, I. The next question was, items to reinforce status. I like this a lot. Um, it doesn't have to be the big honking collar with the big honking lock. It can be something small that reminds you, hey, I'm owned. Hey, he's my master. He's my dominant. I am serving him. I like a small little necklace or a ring, because I'm not a big jewelry girl. I don't wear much. I lost my two favorite rings. But, um... So, something small, um, usually like a little chain with an initial on it, it's great. Um, 
I've had dog takes made for me personally. Um, and I used to wear them a lot. I don't know where they went. Oh, right, never mind. <laughs> so I really enjoy the small reminder of who I am and my dynamic because it's a nice way to wear it on my sleeve without everyone knowing I'm wearing it on my sleeve. So, I think that is about all for now. I have to get going to work as I'm bike riding in. This is all for BDSM Talk number 13. Remember, play safe and have fun.